Hello, Arnadine and a very warm welcome. So these hot chocolate bombs are the biggest trend right now. So this dessert is a spin on that. It is a chocolate peanut butter and jelly bomb. And we're going to melt it with some hot caramel sauce. It is so, so good. You don't want to miss this one. So let me explain what's going on with this dessert. So we're going to make the chocolate bombs in moulds. Then we're going to put some chocolate and peanut butter ganache in there. Uh, some peanut brittle crumbles, raspberry, jelly or jam, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then we're going to melt it with some hot caramel sauce. How good does that sound? <laughs> So uh, we're going to start with the ganache so that it can cool and firm up a little bit. The peanut brittle, uh, either you can buy it or make it. I have a whole video on it with a great recipe. You can check it out here. Uh, the jam, uh, I just use store-bought jam, a raspberry seedless one. And then uh, we're going to make the molds and then the caramel sauce. So let's start with the ganache. I have six ounces of dark chocolate and a quarter cup of uh, creamy peanut butter and I'm adding half a cup of uh, hot cream which will melt everything and make a yummy ganache. I'm just going to give this a little stir and then after a couple of minutes we'll stir it again and then we'll just let it hang out at room temperature and it will start firming up a bit. Really good. So it's like liquidy like this right now, but as it cools, it's going to thicken up a bit. So we're going to set this aside and now start working on the chocolate bomb. So we'll start making the chocolate bombs, balls, whatever you want to call it. I have a silicone mold, two and a half inches. I also have one of these plasticky ones. You also get stronger acrylic ones like this. Uh, the method is a little bit different. Um, it just depends what you're comfortable with. I'll show you both so you can decide. Okay, now I'm going to do my chocolate tempering speech. <laughs> so I have eight ounces of chocolate here. This is more than enough to make six bombs. Okay, so what is chocolate tempering? Tempering chocolate is when you play around with the temperature of the chocolate uh, to stabilize it and align the crystals a certain way. Why do we do it? The first reason is, and the most important one, that at room temperature, it sets beautifully. So it's not going to be melty or sticky on your fingers and it will pop out of the mold easily. The second reason is that it will be super shiny. And the third reason is it will have a nice snap to it. So that's why we temper it. Now, um, for tempering, you have to use real chocolate, which means that it has to have cocoa butter in it. So just uh, look at the ingredients. If it has cocoa butter, you're good to go. I have eight ounces of uh, Valrana chocolate here. That's my favorite, but you can also use Calibo or whatever you have access to. Just make sure that it has cocoa butter in it and then it's ready to temper. Now the easiest way to temper it is in the microwave and the whole concept behind that is that when you have your chocolate it's already tempered. So if you don't overheat it over 90 degrees then you will not lose the temperature. So the way we do it is we will do it in 15 second bursts and just make sure that the, while we're melting the chocolate it doesn't go uh, above 90 degrees and your chocolate will be tempered. You can use a chocolate thermometer like this uh, to help you. Uh, this is like a spatula with a probe already in it. So just make sure that the temperature doesn't go over 90. Uh, so I'm gonna put this in the microwave. So I'm just heating this in 15 second bursts. And in between you have to stir it to distribute the heat. And um, 
it's best to use a plastic or silicone bowl to do this so that it doesn't heat up too much so this is going this is about 87 right now it's going um, back in the microwave so the chocolate is ready and tempered uh, the way you know it's tempered is I put a little bit on parchment paper and popped it in the fridge for a couple of minutes and look it peels right off and it has a nice snap to it. So that's how you know that it's done. So I polish the mold a little bit with some a soft cloth that just makes it um, nice and clean and will give you a shiny finish. So all we do is we take some chocolate and brush the mold. And make sure you go up the sides. And you should work fairly quickly with this because your chocolate will start to set um, which is a good thing because you've tempered it well there are different ways to do this you can put it in and then turn it over but i find that to be a little bit messy so i just like painting it twice. That's what works for me. I have just popped these in the fridge for a few minutes and now I'm just going to give them a second coat just so that you know you didn't miss anything and we do the sides, build the sides up a little bit. Basically you don't want too much chocolate to pool in the bottom so you just kind of take it up on the sides. And when you do the second coat the first one is already chilled so this will set up very quickly. So with this scraper, you can just clean up the edges a bit. And now I'm going to put this in the fridge. Now we're just going to pop these out of the mold. So all we do is, uh, the mold is very flexible. So kind of release it like this. And then just put a little bit of pressure in the center and it pops out like this the cafe and shiny <laughs> you can also kind of release it and try it like this turn it upside down put a little bit of pressure with your thumbs in the center and peel the mold back so there are two ways you can do it practice 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 But this is fairly easy to do and it looks so professional so you'll be very proud of yourself <laughs> so we just took out the ones from the silicone mold and this is the other mold i just want to show you so these pop out just like that if your chocolate is tempered well it's super easy just a little shake and that's it so for the caramel sauce, you just heat up 3 quarter cup uh, sugar and a quarter cup of water till it's a caramel, like a golden brown color. And then carefully, you just add half a cup of heavy cream to it. It'll bubble. So be careful. 
and it's that easy and you just put it back on the heat for a bit and it is done. So this is some peanut brittle that I made uh, earlier. I have a recipe on it, you can check it out here. And we're just going to uh, smash it up a little bit and use it in the dessert. So I've put it in a Ziploc bag and just with a spoon or a rolling pin, you can just um, smash it. And this is especially good if you're having a bad day. <laughs> you can get all your frustrations out. <laughs> Just like that and we're going to use this it'll add a lovely crunchy layer to our dessert we are going to start putting the dessert together now so the ganache that we made earlier this is what it looks like it's nice and velvety and thick okay so it's assembly time so what i did was uh, the chocolate i have just sort of wedged them in the mold uh, so that they're not wobbly when you're filling them so i have a pan here that i've heated up and first three of them i'm just going to melt the side a little bit so you have a clean edge these will be the bottom ones Just for a few seconds, so it'll be easier to seal them later. Just like that. Now, first step, we are going to put the peanut butter ganache in. I put it in a piping bag, but you can spoon it in. Look how good that looks. Then we will add the peanut butter crunch. Then we're going to add the raspberry jam. And then we will just add some fun sprinkles. It'll just be a nice surprise when they melt. I also have some bigger pearls here that look pretty. And now we're going to seal the top. So the same way in the hot pan, melt it a little bit and just seal it. There you go. Now we're going to decorate it a little bit more. So I just have some melted white chocolate in a piping bag. I cut off the end and we're just going to decorate this bomb and make it look super pretty. So all you do is we're just going to put some sort of um, stripy detail. So you just flick it with your hand. And that's it. And we are just going to put some sprinkles and it will stick with the um, white chocolate now that's a beauty <laughs> Okay, now for the exciting part, we are going to put the hot caramel sauce onto the bomb.
and it slowly just melts away. <laughs> Look at that. Now I'm going to taste it, some of the brittle, the jam, the ganache. It's like a big yummy truffle almost. So, so yummy. You have to try this. So this dessert is super yummy and a complete showstopper. So I hope you will try it. The details and the recipe will be on my website, maddiehari.com. If you make this, please tag me on Instagram. I love seeing those pics. Remember to subscribe. I'll have these dessert videos there every week. Uh, like the video, hit the bell. And uh, I hope you share this with your loved ones. Until next time.